July 8, 2014, Tuesday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria, my wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no god at all, destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stock of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as a stranger's. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. 